Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hey, yo, Peep Game. So I just saw this video, right? <clears throat> this chick is in the lobby of her apartment building. <clears throat> and um, she's denied access to get into her building because of a white woman that is um, refusing to let her in. Right? So they're going back and forth for a few minutes. And the woman is telling her, I don't know who you are. I've never seen you before, so I'm not letting you into the building. The chick, who is African-American, is like, well, I'm not a stranger. I live in this building, so you can't deny me access. Basically pleading for her her right to be able to walk into the building and this lady has no right to tell her no, right? She's like, well, um, I'm actually waiting for a friend to let me in who actually lives here. Pause. So my thing is, the first thing that comes to mind is how you know, racism is starting to build back up to an all-time high in these in these times. And it being 2020, it's only getting worse. It's almost as if they feel like we as a people are becoming stronger. We're becoming more powerful, so they feel that racism needs to be back in full effect. Like they need to redeem themselves or something. I don't know what if they went and had a meeting and said, look, we can just say certain things and they just have to do it. Or we need to do something to hold on to the power that we have. I don't know what the case may be. But it's obvious that these people are clearly making it clear that racism is alive and well. And that they don't care about standing up for theirs. So I say that to say that we have to continue to be doing what we're doing. Stay powerful as a people. And continue living the way that we're living. Because we are obviously making a mark on them. <laughs> as we should have in the first place. But there's definitely got to be some, some organization as to you know consequence to that you know what i mean and i appreciate and i applaud the woman in the video because she did not you know yell at her she didn't cuss at her she didn't even threaten to call the police about this woman denying her access to her own home but when it comes down to it like i said i applaud that situation because us as a people we are stronger and we are coming to a place where we're undenied and we are making these people shake inside of their bones <laughs> like they're literally trying to figure out how they can stand strong because when it comes down to every industry possible, we're taking over. We're taking over. And they are scared. They are scared. So to my black people, I applaud you. Keep standing strong. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, and and keep keep doing what you're doing, man. And we got to stay connected. We got to stay plugged. And we got to understand our power out here. Because we, we are definitely making a difference. And we're definitely making an impact on history and today. So I love you, black people. Let's do this. 2020. Let's get this shmine. Alright? I mean that. Peace.